Victoria Newland, who was the driving force behind the war in Ukraine, helped start the war in Ukraine, in January threatened to blow up the Nord Stream pipelines so that Russia couldn't send gas to Europe. Remember this? I want to be clear with you today. If Russia invades Ukraine, one way or another, Nord Stream 2 will not move forward. So then in September, somebody blew up the pipelines, and that was the biggest man-made environmental disaster in history. If you're worried about climate change, you should be in tears because of the amount of carbon that emitted into the atmosphere. So it was pretty obvious to us the Biden administration was involved in this. But with this in mind, we were a little bit surprised to see Toria Newland essentially admit last week that she did it. Watch this. Senator Cruz, uh, like you, I am, and I think the administration is very gratified to know that Nord Stream 2 is now, as you like to say, a hunk of metal at the bottom of the sea. Oh, she's excited about it. When it happened, they said, we, we're upset about it. We have no idea who did this. And if you think we had a hand in it, you're Putin. What are we watching here? Tulsi Gabbard is a former presidential candidate. She joins us tonight. Congressman, thank you so much for coming on. Um, so now they're basically admitting it and nobody is saying anything? Why? I think there's two really important things for the American people to take away from what you have just outlined here. Number one is that statement from Victoria Newland just exposed her and the administration's truth, which is that they have been lying to us all along about this. There's yes. no way the United States was not either involved or knew about this or at the very minimum uh, approved it. Uh, so they've been lying to us. They've been deceiving us, saying, hey, look, the United States had absolutely nothing to do with this while also trying to sell us the absurd lie that, well, of course, Russia somehow bombed their own, exploded their own energy infrastructure to hurt their own economic interests. That it just shows how stupid they think we are that we would buy such an absurd argument.